So, I hope you enjoyed uh, the transformation, the uh, Bryce Dash. So, we've got the adjustable phone holder, MP3 Bluetooth studio, three buttons, and two USB ports. Happy days. The only addition I've got to put on this is a uh, LED light which I'll put across the front there uh, obviously onto a switch uh, which will give some illumination in the cockpit as and when required so next thing is to do the wiring on the back and make a wiring loom uh, also what I have to do is get some black window tint uh, the limo black and tint uh, the bottom half of this so obviously when you look through you don't want to be looking at all this so some window tint on there will sort that out um, however as for wiring looms so I need to make a loom now where I've just got um, two connectors ready to plug in so I'll have the uh, switches into a connector speakers and relevant power for the studio um, and then I'll just be on two connectors. Yeah, I'll make like a uh, yeah, basically tape it up, etc. So I'm just left with the connectors. Um, that'll allow me to reinstall this once I've got the uh, limo black um, privacy glass sticky stuff put on. Yeah, I'll be able to fit this and just have the ports ready for the additional wiring where it'll plug into that and make all this function. So that's what I'm going to crack on with now. Dilly dilly. Okay, so electrics are done. I've done my lead. Uh, I haven't taped them two together because that means I can then pull the studio out so there's enough enough um, cable on there for me to pull that studio out at the front uh, and I can disconnect it from there just in case if I'm leaving the bike for any period of time outside I can just take the whole studio out. Not for theft purposes really, it's just for... Um, because the, the face panel does come off. Um, but obviously just the unit itself. Um, you know, if it's not getting used over winter, I'll be able to take it out. Anyway, blah, blah. So I've got all my, um, my three switch cables going into this. So all I've got to do now is just connect into that. My speaker wires, uh, battery plus, ignition plus, ground. Um and then whatever I want to work off the switches once I've got all them into there obviously tape all that up and then that'll just connect into there and disconnect as required and then clearly when you've got the yeah, this situated in the uh, in the screen yeah, then when the screen folds forward for access yeah, there'll be enough plenty of slack I'll make on the cable um, and that'll go underneath and into the capsule so that'll be great, it'll work well, it was a good day's work that um, bit fiddly as with all things especially when you're making a dash this small um, smallest dash known to man I think but it's a good effort, some bit of forethought uh, not too many switches, don't need lots but I did need USB so I've got a bank of three and two USB ports Good thing about these are as well as the uh, 4.8 amp um, so it should give a decent charge rate uh, obviously studio and the obligatory phone holder the only other thing you really need on a dash uh, is a cup holder so a bri unfortunately you haven't got a cup holder i might be able to make some of it, uh, for the inside but it'll just get in the way of access in and out the capsule anyway it's not the end of the world that i am sure yeah Rather a phone holder than a cup, I'm sure. Anyway, that's enough for that one. So uh, the next time you see this, will be on completion of the bike when I pull it out and it's all set up. Um, but at least you've got an uh, insight into what it's going to look like, uh, the finished product. Dilly dilly. Hey guys, so I decided to tape them up. Um, again, just thinking of abrasion. Um, and it is a bit neater because it's got them all condensed now 
So it looks 200% better than what it did when I first took this cover off uh, prior to strip down. Um, yeah, good job done. Really pleased with that. Uh, all my lives are uh, blue. And uh, I've got a couple of earths kicking about. Uh, ignore them ones. Uh, there's an earth behind there. A couple of earths uh, down here. Yeah, good job. I've only taped it up to there because I've got the rest of the loom, which is obviously for the uh, back lights, trailer lights, um, sidecar, etc. So uh, I don't want to tape any more up than that because uh, I'll end up double taping. But um, yeah, very pleased. Dilly dilly.